Communities across the nation are coming together to show support for Muslim people living in America. In Kansas City, Missouri, members of the Muslim community march through the streets to declare that ISIS is not Islam. They feel their religion has been hijacked. They have nothing to do with Islam. We clearly want to make sure that those people don't belong to us. We support the U.S. and every other country that actually stand against ISIS. Well, this certainly is a hot topic this week, and I'm joined now by Hassan Sibley, who is the Florida Director for the Council for American Islamic Relations. And Hassan, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Um, a lot to talk about this week, but first, let's start by those with those comments that were made by Jerry Falwell Jr. of Liberty University. How is that type of rhetoric impacting the Muslim community? Well, it's very scary. Look, America is one of the best places in the world to be a practicing Muslim or to be Jewish or atheist or whatever you want to be because America's built on religious liberty and we can't allow our enemies abroad to divide us here at home and turn us against each other. I mean, the rhetoric from Fowell and Trump and Carson and others really mimics some of the Nazi propaganda that was being promoted against the Jewish community in Germany 70 years ago where they said we need to get rid of Jews, we need to have databases of Jews, we, Jews need to wear special ID cards. That's verbatim what people like Carson and Fowl and others are saying about the Muslim community, it's scary. We need, to, we need to stand united as Americans and learn from history. Yeah, after hearing some of this rhetoric, though, does it make you actually even have um, a fear of the, you know, the safety for you and your family? Well, I certainly have fear for the safety of myself and my family. We've been getting death threats since I joined, actually, a Muslim organization here, CARE, years ago. And in fact, over the past two weeks, uh, our communities received over a dozen hate crimes or death threats, threats to shoot two-year-old children, threats to blow up mosques. In fact, one mosque was vandalized as, as late as yesterday. However, I'm more scared not as a Muslim but as an American because I'm, a, I'm an American by choice. You know, we immigrated here when I was four years old. We came to America because it's built on principles of freedom, liberty, and justice for all. And I fear from these Islamophobes like Fowl and Trump that they're undermining the principles of liberty and justice that make America so great to begin with. Yeah, and there's a lot of critics out there of CARE. And ed there was an editorial today by Michelle Malkin that this morning from um, the New York Post saying that CARE is America's the top enabler of terrorism, mm -hmm. saying that you put damage control above border control and jihad control. What would you say in response to that? Well, actually, our community, Care Florida, for example, off, works with the Department of Homeland Security to offer safety trainings to t uh, temples, synagogues. And by the way, I do want to say Happy Hanukkah uh, to the Jewish community that's celebrating. Um, so we offer that kind of training. We work with law enforcement to keep America safe and free. Islamophobia is the biggest threat that our nation faces. It undermines liberty in our country as people turn against each other and it escalates conflict overseas. The people who hate care, they're the same ones that hate all Muslims. Muslims, and they don't like how we challenge Islamophobia and we defend civil rights of all. So let people come and know CARE, let them come visit our office, let us serve the community. CARE offers free representation to any victim of discrimination regardless of their race or religion. That's what we're about. I want to ask you about one more thing. The U.S. Justice Department is now opening an investigation into the arrest of that 14-year-old Muslim boy who brought a homemade clock to school. Police in Texas arrested Ahmed Mohammed in September because school authorities thought it was a bomb. The boy was never charged. Well, last week, his family threatened a lawsuit and demanded $15 million in damages. Attorney General Loretta Lynch attended a Muslim advocacy event this week where she promised the Justice Department is investigating his arrest. What do you think about this latest development? Well, look, I think what happened to Ahmed was very shameful. I mean, he's a young kid, and he was arrested and put through very humiliating treatment. People say, oh, he was all over the news. And look, I work with clients that go on the news all the time, and it isn't, you know, fun and glory like people think it is. You would know better than anyone else. It's a very stressful, and it actually has a lot of damage to him. So nonetheless, what's great about that experience is it shows the good that's in this country, and it smacks in the face of Islamophobes and anti-Muslim extremists, and even Muslim extremists who want to promote a narrative that American Islam is against each other because we saw America standing with this young man and saying, look, we will not allow discrimination in our name. That's the message we need to send the world, that we will stand united and not treat each other differently because of race or religion. That's what makes America great, that we can do that. You talk about sending that message. What can we do, everybody, to improve relations? Just get to know each other. Get to know each other. Remember, our worst enemy is uh, misunderstanding and ignorance. Ignorance leads to misunderstanding, that leads to fear, that ultimately leads to hate and division. Let's stand united as Americans. Remember, we're first and foremost humans. Secondly, we're all Americans here. Let's get to know each other and build a society where children of people of all faith and religion can grow proud of who they are without fear of intimidation, harassment, or violence. Hassan, thank you so much for joining us this morning, a hot topic this week. And we 